Thanks. I'm here at the Apex River, one of the bodies of water the city of Calouite has gotten permission to pump from. And you're entirely correct. Just because the state of emergency has been removed doesn't mean anything has been resolved. The state of emergency existed for one reason, to help the city cut red tape in their application to pump water from this river via the Department of Fisheries and Oceans approving the process. Now, they have that permission now, and pumping is expected to begin here tomorrow. So yesterday, the territorial government removed their emergency declaration for a Iqaluit because it isn't needed after the permission is granted. The city followed suit as they didn't need the declaration active to start filling the reservoir by pumping. A Iqaluit officials figure they need to pump 500 million litres of water into the Lake Geraldine Reservoir because a long, dry summer left it at about half the needed level. Now, that figure might come down. August? August was a wet one here in Iqaluit, which is really unusual. Iqaluit gets so little rainfall that technically we qualify as a polar desert. Now, we received 60 millimeters of rainfall in the month of August, and uh, if you have a look behind me, we might even get a little bit more today, and that is helping. But the main issue that remains unresolved is the size of the reservoir. Iqaluit has received over $200 million in funding to expand the reservoir and replace much of the water infrastructure. The money is there, but the same challenges that face every major project in Nunavut face this one. Short construction season, the need to send all of your materials by sea lift, flying in specialized workers. Any major project here in the territory of this scale will take years, and this one, this one's no exception. So, it might not be a state of emergency anymore, but that sure doesn't do anything to help fill the reservoir. Back to you in Winnipeg.